Hello, and thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Marvelyn Brown, and I am the primary blogger here at Making It Remotely. So if you are listening to this on my podcast, or if you are um, watching this on uh, my YouTube channel, on a video, I want you to realize that this is one of the most important uh, videos and, and audio pieces and blog posts that I've done in a very long time. And the reason for that is um, this system that I'm going to talk to you about today is one product. So you buy one product and this is a product that I've been using for probably six or seven years. I've been using it for a while um, and I actually started using it before it became what it is now. So when this company first started making products, I had my, I had a blogger blog And I had had my blogger blog shut down by Google. Blogger is owned by Google. And so I did something, I was in network marketing. I did something that Google didn't like and they shut my blog down. And so this was, you know, years ago. And so once they shut me down, I was like, you know what? I need a platform that is going to, you know, grow with my business, something that I have more control over and so basically, basically to make a long story short, I found WordPress. And so I kind of looked at the benefits, the pros and the cons, and decided that WordPress would be the best fit for me. So I set up a self-hosted WordPress blog and I had gone out and tried all these different themes. So I bought premium themes, I tried free themes. I just wanted to get my content online. And what I found was, when I was trying all these different themes, you know, the themes would look great when I um, looked at them that, you know, the way the pages were laid out looked wonderful. But then when I would install it on my blog, the pages would look crazy. I could never get it to look the way that it looked on the demo. And so I found Thrive Architect. That's the, that was one of the first products that I had bought. So Thrive Architect at the time Uh, was a tool that I could buy, you know, by itself. It was a standalone product. I could use it with my self-hosted WordPress blog. And it worked, you know, to make my pages look the way I wanted them to look. And so over time, I ended up buying, you know, more products from this company. And so now they are, you know, they've kind of grown and they have, come out with more products, more, basically they have a theme builder. They have, they still have Thrive Architect and then they have plugins that go with it. And the thing that I like about this is that all of the plugins are made by the same developer, the same company. Everything that I need to run my business is made by one company. And so if you have a blog or a website and you've been running that blog or website, you know exactly what I'm talking about. When you have like a theme that was made by one developer and then you got a zillion different plugins that were made by all these other uh, entities, when you try to bring all that together on your site, it can really cause a mess. And so um, I kind of stuck with this company and now they have come out with so many different Um, tools to help solopreneurs, creative business owners, anyone who wants to have an online presence can do so. And they can have the same functionality of, you know, some of the big players. And so that's what I want to show you today. So this to me, in my opinion, um, is the best sales and marketing system uh, that you can use to generate consistent leads and sales. And really, That's what it all boils down to, consistent leads and sales. And when I talk to creative people, when I talk to people who are online business owners, that is the one thing that everybody wants, you know, consistency. It's great when you get a sale here and then you get another sale there, but it's so much better when you have a um, flow of leads and sales coming into your business every day. If you get the kind of sales that trickle in, of course you appreciate those. But, you know, most people want the kind of 
uh, income and revenue coming into their business that will enable them to make a life change, whether it's leaving their full-time job, whether it's having more time freedom to spend with their family, whether it's time to, you know, open up another business and have even more income or different streams of income coming into their business and having that flexibility to work from any location. So that's what we're going to talk about today. And if you're new to this channel or you're new to uh, my business, um, just stick around, listen to this um, podcast episode or watch the video, and hopefully you will learn something that will help your business grow, you know, and help you to get from point A to point B. That is the goal. So this tool, as I said, it's called Thrive. It's Thrive Suite. And um, in all uh, transparency, I am now an affiliate for this company, but um, know that I have tons of experience with this product and I've used it. This uh, blog, Making It Remotely, was built using Thrive Suite. And so Thrive Suite enables me to have a business that works. And you know, that's the name of the game. You want a business that works. You wanna be able to create content and I can create pretty much any content I need to create. So, you know, I can do my podcast, I can do my videos, I can do blog posts, I can do uh, tutorials, demonstrations, anything that I need to help my audience, I can create it and then put it on my blog or on my website uh, for people to see. And so this is the thing, if you're a business owner and you want to have a, a successful online business, you need a powerful online presence. And so you need something that's not going to choke up on you, that's not going to crash when you have a certain number of visitors. You need a platform that really works. And so this really does that for me. Now, just think if you would be able to have these functions running in your business 24 seven while you're out doing other things. So these other things that I'm talking about are, you know, spending more time with your friends and family, um, having more time to generate, you know, and bring people into your business, go out and do speeches or webinars or teach courses, or, you know, just going out into your community and talking to people and not having to be tied down to your laptop or your computer, you know, at a desk, um, posting on social media all day or, or, you know, direct messaging people trying to get them to come to see what you have to offer. So, you know, automation is the key to passive income. You can't have passive income if you've got to be there to do things like processing payments or your social media can't run unless you're there to run it. Or even if you outsource it, you know, sometimes when you're starting out, you don't have the money to, to pay someone else to do your uh, business functions for you. So, you know, if you're a solopreneur or you're a one man show and you're creating things, you wanna have more time to create. You wanna have more time to do those things that you enjoy doing. You don't wanna be bogged down in um, things like social media and, you know, being in, you know, on your chat, answering questions, you know, all day long. You don't wanna to have to do that. You want a system. You wanna set up systems that will answer questions, that will attract the right audience, that will process sales and payments, that will educate your readers. A lot of people need more information before they make a purchase. And so you need something on your platform, you know, something in that online presence, that powerful presence that you're gonna create that educates your reader so that they understand why your product is the best thing that they can do for their, uh, to improve their lives. So whether you are selling to business owners or whether you're selling to consumers, you want, you know, whoever your readers are, your visitors are, to understand why you are the best solution for them. You wanna be able to have a system that sends information. So if you have a lead magnet or a product, maybe you're selling digital products or maybe you're doing print on demand, you wanna set up systems that will enable you to be very hands-off 
when it comes to delivering your products. So when someone signs up for your digital product, maybe they, maybe you have an ebook that you're uh, promoting. You want them to be able to buy that ebook and, you know, get the payment processed and then get that ebook delivered, um, hopefully via email or some other digital channel. And you want that person who buys it to get it immediately. You want them to get that download um, immediately so that they can start reading or taking action. But you want to be able to send information to your audience without you having to sit down and send out, you know, a hundred emails or a hundred uh, digital downloads. You want that to happen on autopilot. You want a platform that tells your story. You want to be able to teach classes. So you want to have online courses that people can sign up for, you know, even while you're asleep. So you're asleep at two o'clock in the morning. Maybe someone on the other side of the world is awake and they need the information that you are providing. So you want to be able to teach a class, but you don't want to be there, you know, physically, um, you know, teaching the class. You just want people to be able to get your knowledge. You want to be able to share your knowledge with people in a classroom setting. And then you want to be there to answer questions and maybe provide support, but that's totally different than having to be there, you know, live and in person at two o'clock in the morning. So no matter, you know, if you set this up the right way, no matter where you are or what you're doing, these courses are going to run, uh, whether you're there or not. You want to provide demonstrations. So a lot of times, depending on the product that you're uh, selling, you need to do a demonstration. And really demonstrations are a great way to show people how your products work. Um, there are also things like mock-ups and, um, you know, graphic design things that you can do to actually show people how your products are going to look. And if you're someone who's selling clothing, you definitely want to have uh, mock-ups that show people how your uh, clothing pieces are going to look on a live person. You want to um, set up appointments. So a lot of people do consulting online. And so instead of having a assistant or someone that actually sits down and, you know, talks to the person and emails back and forth to coordinate a schedule, you can actually set up your appointments. You can do um, online calendars that will enable people to go out and, you know, make their own appointment at a time that's convenient for them. You want to be able to process applications. So maybe you have an opening for a position, or maybe you want to have people fill out an application so that they can appear on your podcast, or maybe you want to do interviews and you just want to get a little more information, background information on the people that you're interviewing so that you can kind of hit the ground running. You can process applications using your platform. And of course, last but not least, you wanna be able to play video and audio. Um, and your audio could be just like I'm doing now, it could be a podcast. It could be a uh, just a plain um, audio file that you downloaded from SoundCloud. Um, Lots of different ways that you can do audio as well as video. YouTube is, you know, one of the most popular platforms, but there are also other platforms like uh, Vimeo, Wistia, and there are some other ones out there. You can also, if you have, you know, the right platform, you can stream, you can do live streams and those live streams can be put onto your platform. And so it's really important, you know, a lot of people say, oh, I don't need a blog or I don't need a platform and a lot of people are selling products and services using social media. Now, social media is great. Um, you know, all these other platforms that are out there, TikTok, you know, all the social media um, um, entities that are out there are great. However, if you do something that those platforms don't like, you know, there again, going back to my story with Google. Do something that one of those platforms, the, um, if you go outside of their, their terms of service or you do something they don't like, um, they can definitely shut you down. And I'm living proof of that. So you need a platform that you own and one that you control. And so after my experience with Google and being shut down, 
I decided that, um, you know, the self-hosted WordPress blog was my best bet because that is a platform that you own and you control. And so as your business grows, the other benefit of doing that is um, you can grab your content off of one platform. So say for instance, you're with a specific hosting provider. If you outgrow that hosting provider, you can always take your blog or your website or you know whatever and move it to another hosting provider because you own that content. And as long as you are backing up your data, if there, if something were to happen with your hosting provider, whatever, you know, it might be, as long as you're backing up your data on a regular basis, you have that content because that is content that you own. And so you can take that content and put it on another platform and move on with life. And I've seen people do that as well. So you know, just think about being able to do all of these things in your business and how beneficial it would be if you could set things up in a way uh, that will enable you to have all of this running in the background. Now, you may not want to do all of this. You may not want to teach a class. You may not want to do demonstrations. It just depends on the products that you are providing. However, you know, it's good to have options so that maybe today you don't want to do classes. Maybe today you're not selling products. Maybe you're consulting and you're coaching and you don't want to do anything other than that. Well, you know, two months down the road, you know, if your economic uh, situation changes, you know, you may be more open to teaching a class. Wouldn't it be great to have a platform that would enable you to expand without having to go out buying another tool um, to use in your business and then hoping and praying that that tool is compatible with what you're already using. So the other thing that I want to throw out there is I am a affiliate for this product. However, I'm also a user of this product. I've used this product for years and I use it. Um, you're looking at it right now um, because that is this is the product that I use for all my blog posts. I use it for all my websites. I use it to create my landing pages, my sales pages, my opt-in forms, um, quizzes, um, you know, countdown timers. And we're going to talk about more of that in a moment. But the thing that you want to also do when you think about having your online business, you want to, you want to do all of these functions, but you also want to have a central hub. And so that's what this can also do for your business. You can have a central hub where you send people when they ask questions about your business. So say for instance, you're out in the community and you are uh, maybe doing a seminar, a live seminar and you have an audience of people that have signed up for your seminar, they're interested, you want a place that you can send them to so that they can get more information. Maybe you're out and about and you're running errands. Maybe it's the weekend, you're running errands, you're taking care of business, and you're standing in line, maybe at the grocery store, and you start talking to people. You know, maybe you talk to someone and you find out that they just got laid off from their job. Now, in my case, that would be a signal to me that, you know, maybe they might be open to uh, some of my courses or they may be open to starting an online business. Um, the thing that I find a lot of times, I will go to places like, for example, if I am um, using my Addy knitting machine and I need to run out and get more yarn, you know, when you go to Joann's, unfortunately, when you go to Joann's, it's not really unfortunate. It's fortunate for me. But when you go to Joann's, Joann's is so popular. Joann's fabrics, they're so popular that, um, you know, the lines sometimes wrap around the whole store, especially during the holidays, because there's so many people out there trying to buy, you know, things for their creative pro uh, projects. I can stand in line and, you know, talk to someone and have a whole hour conversation before I get to the cap, the uh, cash register. And so 
you know, just standing in line. Or I know one time I went into Michael's and I was standing there looking at vinyl for my cricket. And me and two other ladies started a conversation. I don't even know how the conversation started, but we started talking about, um, you know, doing um, T-shirts. And we, by the end of the conversation, we had traded phone numbers and, you know, we, we, we kept in touch with each other. Um, and we asked each other questions. We kind of, kind of formed a little support group, but you know, just those little encounters can really make a difference when you're out and about, you would really be surprised at how many times you run into people who are looking for you know, the kinds of things that you might be promoting. Now, you can give someone a business card. Business cards get lost, right? But most people always have their cell phone with them. So if you have a cell phone and if you and the other person both have an iPhone, you can beam each other your contact information and it's there in the cell phone, right? You don't have to worry about losing it. And so the same thing goes for your, um, your platform. So if you have a platform, all you need to do is, you know, send someone a link to your platform. So for example, if someone wants to know, you know, how to set up their online business using a tool like the tool that we're talking about today, I can send them a link to this article. I can send them a link to my podcast. I can send them a link to my YouTube channel. And, you know, that way they can look at the content, they can learn, they can understand, they can get value from that. And then, you know, a lot of times when you provide value to people, um, that really makes them want to sign up with you more or to learn more about you more. And so those are the kinds of things that lead to, um, to sales. And so, you know, having a platform that is set up in the right way, that looks great, looks amazing, and delivers the functionality that we just talked about up here, you know, that is where, you know, when your website can do all of this, that is where you will have the biggest chance of growing and expanding your audience naturally. So there will be no need for spam. There will be no need to, you know, direct message or, or, um, reach out to, you know, all of your friends and family and ask them to look at your products and services. They'll actually learn about your products and services and you can give them the option. Hey, I have this that might help you. And you send them the link, let them look at the link. And then if you want to maybe follow up later, you can do that as well. Um, but having the right platform really does make a difference. So let me just move on. You definitely want to reach out to those visitors who need information. So what I find with a lot of uh, new business owners as well is that they will put, um, and this goes really for any e-commerce platform that's out there, whether it's Etsy or whether it's Shopify or whether it's WooCommerce, if all you're doing is sending people a link to buy something, Maybe they're not ready to buy yet. Maybe, you know, depending on what you're, um, what you're promoting and how much it costs, they may need to have a little more information before they make a purchase. So if you're sending them a link to only make a purchase, there's nowhere for them to go to get more information. Um, if you're not giving them the ability to sign up to become a lead, to at least learn more or, you know, be able to ask questions, then you're leaving money on the table because there's always going to be those people who are in between the visitor and the customer um, experience. So visitors are people who, you know, they land on your website, whether on purpose or by accident. And if they like what they see, they'll hang around. If they don't like what they see, then they will bolt, they will leave and you'll never see them again which is okay if they were not a good fit for your business to begin with. However, there are people who are visitors who are a good fit for your, for your uh, business, whether they, you know, arrive there by accident, you want those people to be able to take the next step. 
and they may be someone who needs more information like if they've never heard of your company before if they've never you know been to your website before um, they may not want to just pull out their credit card and buy something from you however um, you want a place for them to go because they are a good fit for your business they want and need the products and services that you're offering so now where can you send those folks um, in your current situation where can they go so if you have a YouTube channel YouTube doesn't really allow you to collect leads they will allow people to subscribe but you'll never know who those subscribers are unless they um, you know unless you provide a way for them to sign up and get more information um, so there's always going to be a need for a place to let people sign up to get more information and if you don't have a place for them to do that then you are leaving money on the table because those people who are in between can really become um, you know loyal customers if you treat them in the right way if you give them that educational piece if you give them the information that they need to make a buying decision they will convert into customers so you don't want to leave this uh, this group of people um, in the green area you don't want to leave those folks um, out in the cold so now I've you know kind of went on and on and on about you know the things that you need to be thinking about now we need to look at the various functions that you can do and this is just a few of the functions that you can do with this product you need to have a central hub and we just talked about that you can do that with this product you can actually use the the product is called thrive architect and it's one of the first products actually that I had purchased when my blogger site got shut down I had experimented with all these different themes and you know um, trying out different themes on my site none of them work none of them looked the way they looked on the demo except Thrive Architect when I got Thrive Architect I bought it as a standalone product and I was able to create you know the web pages and landing pages that I wanted they looked amazing and all I had to do was just fill in my information so I just you know write out my blog posts and they looked amazing because I had the right tool so Thrive Architect is the tool that you use for your blog posts your web pages landing pages um, opt-in forms all of those things can be done um, with your um, Thrive Architect product now there's also the lead generation product so that is called Thrive Leads the lead generation system enables you to collect um, visitors information so someone lands on your site they're a visitor and I'll go back to our little um, our little diagram here so someone is a visitor and they like what they see you want that person to be able to give you their either their phone number or their email address or you know some contact information so that you can send them your newsletter or you can segment them out and um, you know give them very specific information based on their needs but visitors need something that they can do on your platform that will enable them to build a connection or make a connection with your business so thrive leads is how you do that now you've probably seen um you know platforms and sites that have like for example they may have a sidebar maybe over on the right hand side and you may see a place over on the right hand side for someone to sign up and get more information well that's not really a proactive way to get leads you really need a way to get leads that will get the attention of your visitor and make it very apparent to them that they can sign up to get more information and that's what thrive leads does so if you click on this link right here that says thrive leads it's going to take you to a page that will show you a video that answers all your questions about leads and what they are 
and why you need them and also how Thrive Leads can help you to build your business. Now they've recently released over 450 new opt-in form templates. So that's a lot of templates and these templates are uh, customizable you can change the colors, the fonts, the wording, all of that to meet your needs. So the next thing that you want to create are landing pages. Now these landing pages, this is where you want uh, the majority of your um, ideal customers to land on your landing pages. Landing pages are the things that you set up um, to sell your products and services. So if you're selling widgets, you definitely need to have a landing page that gives people the high level information they need to know so that they can make a purchase. So you need bullet points that tell them what this product is and how it can benefit their business. You want to talk about benefits. You don't want to talk about features as much as you want to talk about benefits and benefits are what's in it for your customer. And so the more you talk about benefits and what's in it for them, they can see, they can actually see how this uh, landing page or this product rather is going to help their business or help them, whatever their um, issue is, it's gonna help them resolve that issue. So landing pages are great. The other great thing about this tool, and this is the thing that really stood out to me about this, uh, this, this company and the product. And that is they have created a testing, in, um, a testing engine called Thrive Optimize. And it really helps you to test one landing page against another landing page, or test one headline against another headline, or test one opt-in form against another opt-in form. So when you have two pieces of content, you know, what piece of content is going to appeal to your audience uh, the most? So if you have two landing pages, maybe you have one landing page that has an image um, of a dog, and then you have another landing page that has an image of um, a person on the beach. Um, which one will your audience like more? Depending on what your product is and what you're trying to accomplish and what you're promoting, you know, you are going to have more people that like one over the other. And so the thing that you want to do is have the version, whether it's the, the picture of the dog or the picture of the person, you want to have an idea of which one is going to get you the most conversions. And so that's what Thrive Optimize does. It helps you to pick the best landing page for your audience. Now, my audience is gonna be different from your audience. And so maybe the picture of the dog might work better uh, for my audience. And then maybe for your audience, the picture of the person is more popular. And so you can't just have a one size fits all solution. You need to test and optimize your site so that you can have the best possible content on your site that your audience is going to, um, you know, enjoy. Now, the other thing that you can do with this uh, product is you can create online courses. And we talked about that earlier. So online courses do a number of great things to help you um, position yourself, number one, as someone who knows what they're doing. So it helps you to connect with your audience, building the know, like, and trust factor. So, you know, when you teach that course, um, either you know what you're doing or you don't. And um, a lot of times you can prove how much you know um, by teaching a course. And, you know, and it actually helps you to, um, to help and serve your audience. So you can help them understand just how um, important your topic, your product, or your service is and how it can help them. It can answer questions that your audience might have about whatever the topic is that you're teaching about. Um, it helps you to position yourself as an authority uh, when it comes to that topic. And then of course, courses can be used as lead magnets. So if you're struggling with um, what to provide as your lead magnet, 
you know, people want to know how to do things, no matter what it is that your topic is about. There's somebody who wants to learn how to do whatever it is. So in my case, people want to learn how to build a business. And so I can show them there's so many different things that I can show them. So many tools, so many resources, so many hacks and insider tools um, or insider uh, tips that I can provide because I have been building online businesses for a very long time. So when it comes to marketing, I can help, um, you know, creative business owners and really anyone who wants to get their business online. And that is the name of the game. Now, what is it that you can share with your audience? What is your topic? Who are the people that you want to serve? What is your niche? You know, have you selected a niche? And if so, how can you help the people in that niche um, reach their goals and, you know, make their lives better? So Thrive Apprentice is the tool that you would use to um, create courses and it integrates with lots of different tools. Um, and I talked about the testing engine earlier, countdown strategy. So this is also another uh, tool that comes with this, um, this package. So this is basically a membership. So you can pay for this membership on a quarterly basis or on an annual basis. And um, you get all of, once you pay for this tool, you get all of these different tools um, that, and some of the tools that I'm talking about here. But this is not an all-inclusive list of the tools that you're going to get with this particular product. And the great thing about it too is it's all drag and drop. So you don't have to do any coding. You don't have to be technical. You just, if you can cut and paste, upload and download files, drag and drop, you are going to be good to go. So with the countdown strategies, think about this. Think about maybe a product that you have had on sale. So you have this product, you're selling it in your shop and you want to um, let people know you only have a certain number of hours before this sale is going to be over. And you've probably seen these online um, where, and you even probably see it in the physical, you know, offline world where um, stores, retail stores will have a, a 24 hour sale or they'll have a, a weekend sale, something that starts on Friday, maybe payday, you know, Friday's payday for a lot of people. And so, um, they run a sale that starts maybe on Friday, runs through Sunday. And then when Sunday comes, the sale is over. So what you can do in the online world is you can set a countdown timer. And that countdown timer is gonna tell people, you know, if you want this course or if you want this product, um, you have until, and then you set the end date and you put that count down there and it's very apparent to them when they land on that page, hey, I only have certain a certain amount of time before um, this, you know, this product is gonna be back at regular price. So what that does is it gets people off the fence. So if there's somebody who's been out there looking for your product and service um, or service and they see that they can get it for half price or they can get it for a certain percentage off or whatever, um, they will be more inclined to go ahead and take advantage of that offer. So countdown strategies are a great way to get people off the fence. And then last but not least, the last feature that I'm going to go over is quizzes and surveys. So if you're someone who you want to get feedback from your audience about a certain topic, maybe you are trying to figure out whether you are going to roll out a new product and you want to know how your audience feels about it. You can do a survey. You can do quizzes. Quizzes are a great way to educate your audience. So if you have people who are interested in, and I'll just pick something off the top of my head, um, apples. So you have people who are interested in apples. They're only interested in a certain type of apple. You can give them a quiz, like, you know, maybe four or five questions, nothing. You don't want to give people a 20 question quiz. You know, you don't want them to get bogged down and bored. You want them to be educated. You want them to have a little fun. And so you give them this quiz about apples and you kind of quiz them on the different types of apples. And then maybe you have a product that's related to apples. Maybe you have, I don't know, I'll just say an apple slicer. Just this is off the top of my head now. Uh, but, 
you give them a quiz on apples, the different types of apples, and then at the end of the quiz, you know, they can get um, an apple slicer that's going to help them with any kind of apple that they might uh, like, whether it's a Granny Smith or a delicious apple. Maybe they like green apples versus red apples. Um, but whatever type of apple they like, they are going to be able to get this apple slicer and you're going to educate them about the apple slicer and how it works. You might even do a demonstration or a tutorial on, you know, how the apple slicer works. So then at the end of the quiz, you give them the right answers. You let them know how many they got right, how many they got wrong. And then you lead them over to your product, which is the apple slicer. So hopefully that made sense. I think you kind of get the gist of what I'm, what I'm trying to say. You kind of have to find a way to um, fill in the gaps. So you have this in uh, result, and that is you want someone to buy your product. And so maybe they have questions about that product. So your quiz can be used to fill in the gaps and answer those questions in a fun and entertaining way not a serious bogged down uh, buttoned up way but you want people to have fun the more uh, fun someone has uh, with your quizzes uh, the more inclined they might be to come back and take another quiz so quizzes can help you to also uh, build leads or build your audience and so when you structure your quizzes in the right way that can also help you to generate leads. So maybe at the end of the quiz, you have you give people the option to sign up for your list to learn more about apples. So maybe on one newsletter, you talk about red apples, maybe another um, you know, newsletter, you talk about golden apples, and then maybe in another newsletter, you talk about red apples and you give them some accessories to go with, you know, that go well with their apples that you can sell to them. Maybe you give them an ebook on apples and that ebook, you know, kind of educates them and gives them links back to your products. So lots of different things that you can do to build uh, your list and to build an audience using quizzes and surveys. Surveys really give you a lot of good feedback that you can use to tailor uh, your products and services in a way that meets the needs of your audience. So now that's pretty much it. Um, and so I invite you, I'm going to put a link to this um, below this video, and I'm going to invite you to come back and take a look at this tool. There are um, links that you can use. There are banners on here that will also give you more information. And I really think, and you can also click here. There's a big call to action right here. So you can use these uh, links to get more information about Thrive Leads. And you can also, you know, you don't have to necessarily um, use this um, uh, this uh, blog post. However, this blog post does have a lot of great information and a lot of tools and resources um, that will help you along the way. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you've learned something about um, some of the functionality that you're going to need to run your business and um, earn passive income and really tools that will also set you on the path to growing your business. Once you learn this stuff, once you become uh, skilled at uh, selling products and services online, you can use that to rinse and repeat and start another business, you know, and just have, you know, several streams of income that will enable you to reach your financial goals. So take this information, use it. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out as well. So thank you for hanging out with me today. This has been about 45 minutes, but I think it is something that will uh, definitely be worth it if you take advantage of this uh, particular product. So thanks again, and I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.